Oh, God. <laughs> we're just reading um, some of your comments. Uh, well, actually, we're reading all of them. Commenting back to some of them, but reading all of them. Yeah, we're going to go um, through them. On all the gardening films. We thought we'd read some out to you. Your advice and your comments on all of our yeah. gardening disasters. Some people are getting a bit annoyed with us. There's so many people saying we should just get a bloody skip. Why don't we get a skip? Oh. We'll have to, I think we're trying to sort it before we get a skip. Right, Wendy J. Mad Diva, Deva, says, move the wisteria. It will pull the trellis down and reach the house from there. Okay, some comments here on strawberries. We had our first terrible strawberry experience mm -hmm. and Laura Burdekin, I'm gonna need my glasses. Uh, the first yield of strawberries is always more bitter. First year is bitter, second really? year is better, and third year is the last year before you should get a new plant. Wow, isn't that yeah, fascinating? Yeah. Oh, you're letting your tea go cold again. It's quite hard to stroke the dog, hold my phone, and drink well, tea. Well, just have your tea then. Ah, oh, okay. I think this is, do you remember when I was saying about the wild strawberries that we saw? So there's quite a lot of people that have answered to the wild well, the fairy strawberries. fairy strawberries. But yeah, but they are wild strawberries, but I call them fairy strawberries. And this is from Miss Doyer. One, two, three. Stay till the end of this film because you never know, one of your comments might be read out. So you reminded me of when we were kids and we would walk for miles on the holidays. That's when we were free. We used to find wild strawberries often on a hillside road and I've been back since, but they are no more. In saying that, it was many, many years ago. Lovely courgette. Hope your dad enjoyed it. Hope your dad is well now, dear. He was a wonderful actor actor not many like him these days sending much love from scotland oh we'll love to you back mary lynch hello mary this is about our raised bed that i did for you and we had such an unexcited response to um it's august so plant lots of do you ever get over anything it's august so plant lots of spring flowering bulbs in the boxes Ooh. you must like that early daffodils crocuses snowdrops tulips Ooh. then you'll have a blast of color from february until the end of april so plant them now really? bulbs out there the bulbs will come up around them uh all oh, right also some winter pansies and viola this is really good advice thank oh. you mary uh, okay this is um from susie salter who watches a lot of our films and comments on a lot of them and see she says step to step toe and sun <laughs> And carry on. That's what we remind her of, Mark. Two great 80s and 70s classics. Plus watching the garden grow, seeing a funny, lovely, loving family, a man. Mark finds his calling. Veg, the good life. These, veds, ve these vids are YouTube gold. Thank you, you made my summer. Oh, Susie, that's so lovely. And I love all your emojis. Someone else suggesting we put our lavender in the raised bed, for sure, and any of your other small plants that aren't faring well in the pots. Yes, those are carnations. We, I don't think we ever really believed that carnations grew in a straight line. No, I didn't think you could just grow a carnation straight, in yeah. a garden. Right, this is from Flora Dora. Is that your real name? I love that. Flora Dora. Please show us a great recipe, Nadia, to use the huge courgettes and chard. A follow-up to your brilliant gardening adventures could be meals that you have grown yourselves. Wow, funny you should say that, Floridora. There is a plan. Miss Blue 68, sorry, I couldn't read anything just then. It's so satisfying, isn't it, eating what you grew yourself. Somehow tastes better. Great job, Mark. Do you feel like a caveman providing for your family? Mm. Yes, I do. Bang your chest. Oh, oh God, that I hurt. Do that Jesus. Well done, guys. Um, this is from Kate. Why don't you guys just get a local garden clearance people to clear all that up? I don't know. Why don't we? Well, why not I can burn hook as you much up. of it as possible? Because I guess they're uh, Well, burn it. somebody else said to me they were really upset oh. watching you burn all the wood that could have been reused. I guess you guys aren't lazy, lazy gardeners like I am. I think you could grow okra, Ooh. black Russian beefsteak tomatoes, Jesus. or mammoth sunflowers. That's a nice idea, Kate. Why don't we have mammoth sunflowers going around the edge? Oh, I like this one. This one was from someone when we did, uh, when we cooked the first courgette, babe. Disappointing. I thought that you would make a special montage with music, beautiful shots. Oh. Well done, though. Chris C. Sorry, Chris. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. We kind of, yeah, we, we should have made more effort and we will do next time. Ha ha ha. Loving the double entendre. Oh my God, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Just flopped on the side. That's her quoting me, folks. Ooh, uh, Mrs. It is rather large, Mark. 
You've got a right whopper there. That's from Karina Bailey. Ah, in response to the film, looking around Nanny Thelma's garden, try and get one of those hydrangeas up and take it with you, Mark. It would be a happy addition to your garden. It would remind you every time you passed it. Was that Ashley? No, that was Sarah and the Dirt. Oh, that's But I've got Ashley here. Ashley Gardner, who, very sweet suggestion. He tweeted, actually, to say that we should buy, there's a rose yeah. called the Thelma Rose. Yeah. That's why I think a Thelma plant flower would be perfect in your garden, especially for when you renew your vows, which I've said for a long time you should do. Um, I think having a plant or a flower or a rose called Thelma, you'll know she'll always be there watching it's you. Thank you, Ashley. Idea. It's a lovely thought, and we are going to act on it. Rachel Glynn, uh, oh, in this particular film, we were showing uh, how we have a kleptomaniac dog. Not this one on my lap. Look at this one. She's the... No, we're talking honey. about... We're talking about that one. This one. Yeah, we've got a kleptomaniac dog. And basically, you go down to the end of the garden and there's just a pile of stuff at any one time. <laughs> Shoes, socks, tights, knickers, bags of cotton wool. I have a cocker spaniel that collects socks at the bottom of the garden too. No. Toffee is not alone. Hey, Toffs. Toffee, you're not the only sock collector. Oh, I love, love this comment. When your dad came round and seemed to get strangely furious about his olive tree and was threatening to take the chainsaw. <laughs> I, uh, Del Boy Zero, hello Del Boy Zero, said, I never thought charm was genetic until seeing the grandparents on both sides. Oh. Cool family. What a lovely thing to say. That is really lovely. Really lovely, lovely thing to say. Thank you. So this is from Petra. I love that name. Like Have you ever lot. been to the place, Petra, in Jordan, where my dad's from? It's beautiful. You two are such a good laugh. Well, thank you, Petra. Your gardening efforts efforts are paying off. Stick that basil in one bigger container and put in the sun. That's what I keep thinking, Mark. What? Then you'll grow enough for a batch of pesto. It may be too hot for your chard. It likes cooler temperatures. Oh, with all that stuff on our chart. Best grown in spring and late summer into the fall. Oh, she's American. Oh, so maybe we could be growing it right through September, the chard. That'd be nice. Good luck with that, with, uh, with that zucchini. She's definitely American. It's what we call a courgette in English here in... Oh, she's Canadian. <laughs> Sorry, Petra. She was right around the world American, there. Where the, it's very Commonwealth. <laughs> It might take both of you to carry to the kitchen. At the moment I was, I opened my chainsaw, Tracy Warner, hello Tracy. Uh, well Mark, you looked so macho, thank you. And that's with the cut off wellies too. Now, how many times are you going to be at A&E, &E, do you think? Eek, lots of bubble wrap <laughs> needed, I'm thinking. Uh, wink, 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 quite true. Oh, Re Renee McKeel says, loved Mark's Trump impression. The garden looks fabulous. I'll get him to do one. Stick with the film and I'll get Mark when he's reading out his comments to do his rather fantastic Trump impression and it is worth waiting for. And don't forget, keep watching because we could read out one of yours. <laughs> Mark Howard's tools always look better when they're unsheathed. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Oh, uh, missus. Oh, uh, missus. Get some steel toe cap boots for forking and keep the semi-wellies for general tasks. Semi-wellies. Oh, this is so lovely. This is from Sarah. Sarah with an H. Do you know I could watch you two for hours? Christ, come and live it. You should be massively proud of the achievements you've made on the garden this year. Mark's made. My garden has been a work in progress for the past 18 years. Yeah, he's right, Sarah. That's what Mark and I keep saying. We keep saying that we're having huge fun doing this on YouTube and everything. We think this garden has come along for a reason. And that is to teach us patience. This garden is really a project for the rest of our lives. Just show them our dog. Look at her ears, look. Look at her little face. Oh God, I love this dog. I love this dog. Um, and yes, Mark. Yes, she loves get, you, Toffee, this too. This is still Sarah. And yes, Mark, get those seed catalogues and start thinking about what you'd like to grow next year. That'd be fun. I have a little greenhouse, just like yours. Oh. Uh, which is affectionately called the forensic tent, <laughs> as it's like white. That. Oh, I like that. I might be getting another one. And I grow all my veggie seedlings in it every year and have a sizable plot to fill. Oh, oh that's reassuring, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> going to go that? out in the garden today. We're going to grow some courgettes, make the garden great, bigly. Going to be bigly growing the courgettes. They're going to be bigly. They're going to be great. They're so great. They're great. We're going to put them on the griddle pan, griddle those, <laughs> the griddle griddle. those courgettes. The griddle pan is a great griddle pan. It's a big, bigly, big, big, bigly griddle pan. 
And we love that thing. We yeah. love it. I'm great. You're great. Yeah. We're all great. Kaja, it's a great. There you go. Honestly, we do. We often spend the evening here, don't we? Me, you and the girls reading out your comments because they're often so funny. They're so informative um, and we love them. And we're going to keep on um, reading comments out and doing these little films because we think they're really nice. So subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. And then you'll know when we've done another one. So anyway, thank you very much for all of your fantastic comments. Thank you for the suggestions that maybe we could edit things better and use a bit of music. That's always a nice suggestion. Um, and uh, yeah, what, we need to go out and we need to we need to we need to grow more veg. We need to we need to build a wall, a kitchen garden wall. 